the question is about diversification, and I've got a dual answer to that. If you are not a professional investor, if, you're, if your goal is not to manage money in such a way as to get a significantly better return than the world, uh, then I believe in extreme diversification. I mean, if, if, so I believe 98 or 99 percent, maybe more than 99 percent of people who invest uh, should extensively diversify and not trade. So in, that leads them to an index fund type of a decision with very low cost. Because all they're going to do is own a part of America. And they made a decision that only part of America is worthwhile. I don't quarrel with that at all. That is the way they should approach it unless they want to bring an intensity to the game to make a decision and start evaluating businesses. But once you're in the business of evaluating businesses and, and you decide that you're going to bring the effort and intensity and, uh, uh, and time involved to get that job done, then I think that diversification is a terrible mistake in, in, to any degree. And uh, I got asked that question when I was at SunTrust the other day. And uh, if you really know businesses, you probably shouldn't own more than six of them. I mean, if you can identify six wonderful businesses, that is all the diversification you need. And you're going to make a lot of money, and I will guarantee you that going into a seventh one is going to, rather than putting more money in your first one, it's got to be a terrible mistake. Very few people have gotten rich on their seventh best idea. You know, but a lot of people have gotten rich on their best idea. Uh, so I, I, would, uh, I would say that for anybody working with normal capital who really knows the businesses they've gone into, a six is plenty. And, uh, and I probably have half of it in what I liked best. I don't diversify personally. I mean, and, and uh, uh, all the people I know that have done well, uh, with the exception of well, we mentioned Walter Schloss here earlier. Walter diversifies a lot. He owns a little of everything. I call him Noah. You know, he's got two of everything. <laughs>